Yo, yo, YouTubers, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today we bring you something uh, very special and huge, obviously. Uh, we're going to be completing my trinity. Now, I had never, ever planned to buy this statue. I had told myself, no, there's no reason to get it. I already have the Justice League Batman, which I absolutely love. And I think it's a perfect representation of the Ben Affleck Batman. And... Over the course of the last several months this year, my collection has really changed, been more focused. I've really wanted to be more line focused. And I pretty much moved Wonder Woman from her original spot over to next to my Justice League. And I hate mixing scales. I did not like it. So I wanted to put her next to Superman. And of course, if I'm gonna have her next to Superman, I need the Batman. It's foolish to incomplete it. So the Batman does come in two boxes. Uh, this is the smaller one with the base, and the big one is actually holding my phone right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just set this up directly here where it's gonna be displayed next to Wonder Woman. I'm having this positioned exactly like the actual 4K movie, where it's Wonder Woman middle, Superman left, Batman right. And it's gonna work perfect for my display, especially because I have the Superman poster, Wonder Woman poster, and all Batman posters right here. So I'm super stoked to get this. We're going to go ahead and open this up. I've already tucked the boxes off to make everything easier for you guys. So first we're just going to take off this base and get this ready. So the bases are pretty much all the exact same. Uh, although the color variation on this is slightly lighter than those ones. But otherwise it's the four spotlights. And then it does come with uh, two signals. Uh, I'll be doing the Batman one though, of course. Uh, and I'll need to put some batteries in this. The idea is to do the Batman one, just like that. And then it does come with an additional Batman versus Superman version, which I currently have Wonder Woman, so I'll probably just uh, put this over somewhere else. For now, uh, we'll just put it right there, I suppose. So that's all that's in box one. So we can just uh, put that to the side. Next is the actual statue itself. And this was the very heavy box. Now I've seen this statue in person at Tokyo Comic Con. I actually saw all the different Batmans. Uh, so, let's see, so obviously this is gonna be the body. It's always different getting a statue in person versus actually, uh, you know, seeing it at a con. So, he is not one entire piece, actually. Let's see, we got two hands. So, obviously, the head and two feet. So, this is interesting. I didn't know it would be like this. Freaking styrofoam stuck everywhere. Now, looking at the instructions, I do want to make sure I'm doing this right. So it says put the foot in first, or put the foot's attached to Batman? It doesn't really explain, it just shows pictures here. I'm confident you can do it either way though. I think it'll be easier though to do it this way. is going to be this foot. Freaking styrofoam everywhere. Yeah, like this. Too difficult. 
Next is the utility belt. Yeah, utility belt, cape, head, and arms. I have to raise it a little bit. So just like that. I think the cape may be on the bottom of this. That's fine, we can get everything else set up. Now those are a tight fit for the arms. Prime One posed all these just like the movie, uh, Blu-ray, you know, the famous posters. So let me show you guys the portrait. I'll do close-ups, of course, in the full video review. Check out that portrait, though. But we need to get the cape first, which I'm not seeing here. So we're going to... I have to turn the box upside down because clearly that's where the cape's at. So this is how the cape comes. Has this giant thing. This is quite heavy. It feels higher quality than the Justice League one. You know, it feels like a real leather material. So you can see just how big this is. Alright, that thing's like six feet least so the head is going to keep it in place So that is it. There it is. Trinity complete. Although, I definitely got to remove that. I only want one on each of them. The Superman, the Batman vs. Superman, and that. I have the Wonder Woman one right there. So this one, I'll need to find a space for that one. But don't want it there. Here it is. Now, he is actually the tallest among these. He is 44 inches tall, where Wonder Woman, I think, is like 40 or 42, and Superman's like 43. So Batman is the tallest because of that cow. 
So here's the base. I need to get the lights installed. You know, but the bases are all extremely similar. They're not 100% the same though. You know, like if you look at the blocks of this and that and the color, it is a little bit different than all three of them. So it's nice that they're not 100% the same. Now, I don't know if mine is damaged, but look at those little white spots. I'm going to have to check with my buddy if his has this, because I'm pretty confident that is not supposed to be there. I'm going to take a dust blower to it as well, in case it's just styrofoam deep inside of it. Now, there is a noticeable seam line right here, and I put that as hard as I could, even that one as well. So the seam lines are pretty bad on this thing. You know, it's like there's a good gap right there. The cape looks great. You know, there's still styrofoam. I really need to get my duster on this thing. You know, but there's the cape. It's huge as you saw. A little bit wrinkled up here, but the weathering is good. You know, you could definitely tell it's like gone through dirt. Now this is a mixed media. It's not fully sculpted. It does move a little bit. But check out that portrait. Yeah, those white spots, I am very confident, are, should not be there. I need to... I'm not digging those white spots. I need to get my duster and I'm gonna do that real quick actually. Alrighty, before we jump in here, let's uh, check out the light up feature. I uh, have the light up set for all three and on the cabinets below. So these light ups are quite cool. Uh, you know, they just shine up on the statue, very museum-esque. I'm maybe gonna turn off the lights so you can really just see how cool that light up feature is. Very, very cool. And you can actually angle those lights as well. So if you want to angle this to be, you know, more at a certain angle, it doesn't make a huge difference. I think it's best to just have them straight up. But here is the light up feature, just so you all can see. Very cool. You do have to, you know, remove this part and then press a button. It takes two C batteries to go ahead and use the light up. But very, very cool, having them all three lit up like that. Very, very epic, just check that out, boom. Now, if we wanna see it with this, of course, behind, I wanna show that to you, cause that's the great look where you can have like all the Batman posters, even if it's a different Batman, it's fine. Wonder Woman, Superman, of course, the League, League right there. But just check it out, boom. Absolutely epic, right? So cool. Alrighty, let's jump into it. Alrighty, folks. So I checked with my buddy who also owns this. Those white spots are actually supposed to be there. It's uh, apparently his gray hairs on his beard. So I did not know that because that guy does not have little white spots. You know, if we look at his beard, I don't see any white spots. But then this one does, and apparently those are his little gray hairs, which Ben Affleck does have. So you can see all throughout, there's a bunch of little gray hairs. So that is something I did not know. I was able to push the arm up a little bit to get the seam line a little less noticeable, where it's not too bad now, where it more or less just looks like he's wearing a glove. So here we have the Ben Affleck half-scale Batman, 44 inches tall, monster statue, Get here from a distance, you can see, you know, obviously the size comparison between my two Batmans. Now the color is also a little bit different because this is the Batman versus Superman, that's Justice League. This is a lighter gray. And I'm actually happy that they do look different and it's not the exact same costume. It is very, very, very similar, but the color is slightly different. This is just a little bit darker. And that's also fully sculpted where this is mixed media, just like the Superman. Only Wonder Woman is, you know, like the body is sculpted, the armor at least, but then she has the mixed media leather and rope. 
But here he is, Batman half scale statue. So of course the bases are very similar on these half scales. I think it's a good look. It's a museum type base. So it really suits being a half scale statue because generally most collectors who get this are serious hardcore collectors and then museums who want to have a, you know, half scale on there. So you see a lot of museums buying these type of statues. And now this is officially my fifth half scale statue. So uh, that was my first one. And then we got Superman as my second. Then we got Iron Man, Wonder Woman, and now Batman. So five half scales in this room. This bad boy retails at $19.99 plus shipping. Shipping generates a few hundred dollars. He is still available through Prime One's website, uh, you know, for retail costs. And then generally in the aftermarket, these uh, half scale Prime Ones generally go for about $3,000. So they definitely hold their value, although I will say the Batman holds the least value, considering he's still available, where Wonder Woman and Superman are rare and a lot of collectors want to get them. You know, I think it's just because Superman, you know, Henry Cavill's the ultimate Superman, Gal Gadot's the ultimate Wonder Woman, people love those two. Or Ben Affleck, people have more mixed feelings if they like him as Batman or not. My wife much prefers the Christian Bell version. Uh, I myself, I definitely really enjoyed Ben Affleck. I really enjoyed Christian Bell. I consider them both equals in my mind as who I like. I think costumes are both amazing. Uh, you know, this one's probably a little bit more accurate to the comic look. But this is definitely a really, really nice statue. Uh, there's definitely some upgrades from the Justice League one. So the Justice League one, the thing I like about the Justice League is the pose and base is ultimate. But clearly, the head sculpt is more detailed on that one. You know, being uh, bigger, they're able to add those finer details, like the little grays, the eyes are a little bit more detailed. The costume on this is fully sculpted, as well as the utility belt is also just fully sculpted on, where this one is, you know, like real leather that you attach to it, as well as the cape is thicker, heavier, uh, more weathering towards the bottom, where that one doesn't have the weathering as much. So there's definitely some upgrades, you know, even in just like the suit, you can tell this one's more detailed than this one. I just think the pose on this and the base is better. That's the reason I love that one so much. And this is still extremely detailed, but there's definitely a step up. Just like Wonder Woman one third to the half, you know, there's just noticeable increase in detail when you go to the half scale, which is obviously, uh, you know, it should be. It's a half scale. It should have, you know, some of the best detail out there. Now, these half scales do not have silicone skin or glass eyes like some of the newer half scales coming out. But I still think Prime One did an absolutely fantastic job with this line. You know, the detail's outstanding. The eyes look extremely realistic. The skin is translucent resin, which personally I prefer over silicone. You don't have to worry about getting oily or cracking in the future. Translucent resin for me is my preferred, uh, you know, type of statue versus the whole silicone. But let's get some close-ups of this suit. You know, so you could just see all the fine detail in this fabric, which I honestly thought this was fully sculpted, just like the Justice League. But when you touch it, you can tell, you know, it moves a little bit in certain areas. It's almost like a rubber, you know, and it's extremely tight on him. So there's not much movement, you know, like as the Superman, where that's a little bit thinner underneath some sort of, you know, silver body. You know, and then here's the chest plate, it has different scratches on it. You know, you can definitely tell this is not a fresh suit. There's definitely like weathering all throughout the entire body, which definitely looks extremely good. Now for a half scale, I do think it's a good pose. The likeness is perfect to Ben Affleck. It looks just like him in the Batman vs Superman movie. The cape is extremely high quality. I love the cape. I think the weathering is fantastic. So that looks really good. You know, even the gloves have different weathering on both of them. So lots of weathering all throughout this statue, which is nice, you know, because that's how it was in the movie. Very accurate to the movie. You know, you can see tons of different shading throughout this arm, this Batman suit and tons of folds. So it's definitely extremely realistic. 
The pose I do like, you know, it's just like the pose from that, which we saw tons of movie posters where they always switched places, either Superman or Wonder Woman in the middle. I generally just like Wonder Woman and then having the two caped crusaders next to her. I just think it flows better having it like this, you know, the two capes on each side. The only thing I would say is I wish Superman was faced the opposite direction, just like that. That's the only thing I would change. Otherwise, you know, this is the best Trinity out there. I know we do have future Wonder Woman's coming in her golden armor. Uh, we have a black suit Superman, but frankly, I would never get a black suit Superman. Superman to me is the red and blue. Batman is black, uh, color scheme wise. So you can see his buff arms. And then here are these little wrist blade type things. You know, he has that on the Justice League costume. See the fine detail. So just tons of texture work all throughout. And then you look at his actual cowl so you can see, you know, all the different fine textures, the eyes. You know, it looks just like the eyes of the Superman and Wonder Woman. The mouth, that, you know, five o'clock shadow. He has the mole imperfections right there. Two moles and one up there. So there it is. You know, definitely perfect likeness to Ben Affleck. And the cape, obviously. So absolutely huge statue, you know, standing next to it. You know, you can just see, it's hard since I don't have someone filming this for me. I wish my wife would film for me, but she never would. But here it is, the Ben Affleck half-scale Batman in the collection. Very, very cool. You could just see how this is turning out. Now, all we need is Bane and Shazam. And then that entire section, all my DC is really finished off. Uh, I'd still want to get a Heath Ledger Joker one-third scale. I'd love to get a Ledger one-third someday. Not 100% sure where I could put it. You know, I probably could do like a little glass shelf right there. You know, I have quite a bit of walking space. If I did a tiny glass shelf and put it there or figure something out. So... But I'm very happy I finally got the Ben Affleck uh, half scale. It's amazing. Uh, you know, in regards to total score, I'd definitely give it a 10 out of 10. I think all these are 10 out of 10 statues. They're grails and just look absolutely outstanding together. I do think it is best just to get the Trinity. If you're going to get one, get them all. That's the best thing to do. Uh, so I do like how I have them spaced appropriately. You know, they're not completely side by side. They each get their own uh, Besta cube, that's what they're on as best as. I would prefer a Stuva, it would fit a little bit better, but I think a Besta also fits fine. So there it is, folks. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Uh, always happy to add another grill to the collection. Definitely a keeper in my books, something that's going to stay. So I'm off to the gym, going to pick up some pizza on the way done, uh, when, on the way home, and then watch Batman vs. Superman to celebrate getting another grail in the collection. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, put away all these boxes now before I head to the gym. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.